Let me see if I can explain this. So what we got here is a ram pump connected to our waterfall. We dammed up with board. See the other end. And on this side, we dammed it up at the far end with board. Obviously, didn't do a very good job, and we're gonna continue damming it another day. At any rate, so we've got our board down there at the far end, trying to stop the water from coming this way. And we've got our board here to make our pool of water. Our pops on the, let's see, the left is a one inch pop, on the right is a one and a quarter inch pop that runs to our ram pumps. Okay. The metal ram pump is one and a quarter inch, which we took down to three fourths inch. And it's also, well, obviously metal. Then the other pump is one inch. We took down to, I believe, a half inch. This is our most intelligent engineer who come up with all this. And now we are about to connect both pumps to run down the creek, up the hill, to the pond. Actually, it'll be around that corner and then up the hill to the pond. Let's see what else. Um, Oh, on the metal one, we used a, let's see, a swinging check valve is up at top, at the top, but in the, in the actual pump itself is a spring check valve, and then on the, the PVC pop pump, we used both spring, or no, swing check valves. Cool, huh? So now he's trying to connect the two together. No, this wasn't our original plan. Originally, we were only going to make one. And somehow, we ended up making two. I don't know how that happened. Anyway. Now our pipe goes through that board. We have holes in the board that runs through it, catches the water that's in the pool on the other side. This one, if we could get it to dam up more, we could do much better. Right now, we think where we're at, we've measured it out, and we'll get about 360 gallons a day. Hear that sound? That's the best sound in the world. Oh, really? Was it closed? I mean, was it closed when it was at 35 pounds?
and make sure it stays in place.